In our story, our characters face a fierce electrical storm. Have you ever wondered how lightning is made? Let's have a look. You will remember from our water cycle lessons that when the ground is hot, it heats the air above it and the warm air rises. As the air rises, the water vapour cools and it forms a cloud. When the air continues to rise, the cloud gets bigger. In the tops of the cloud, the temperature gets below freezing. I have put minus five there, but it could be much lower than this. As it freezes, the water vapour turns to ice. There's my icy water vapour there. Now our cloud becomes what is called a thunder cloud. These small bits of ice start bumping into each other. Let me show you if we imagine that they are these ice cubes here. They start bumping into each other. As they bump into each other, they create an electrical charge. Eventually, the whole cloud fills up with this electrical charge. Let me show you this better. The top of the cloud has a positive charge, which is lighter, and the bottom of the cloud has the negative charge, it's heavier, and it gathers there. When these charges grow large enough, they fill up the cloud. they create a giant spark between them. Now this spark is what we call lightning. Now most of the lightning happens inside the cloud or it may happen between clouds. However, Sometimes it happens between the cloud and the ground. Now, why is that? Now, the ground has a positive charge. And a lot of this positive charge is concentrated at tall structures or tall natural features. So here is our church. There will be positive charge there. There will be positive charge near our trees, on poles, and even on people. And where there is positive charge with negative charge, lightning occurs. And the next clip 
you are going to see a very old piece of equipment being used to create a giant spark that simulates lightning. Um, this piece of equipment is over a hundred years old. I thought it was very exciting.